if you've ever struggled with dandruff, you're not alone. I've got chronic dandruff myself and over the years, I've tested countless of anti-dandruff shampoos and tested them on clients to see which one actually works. And today I'm breaking down my top three favorite anti-dandruff shampoos that I don't only like and use myself, but also recommend to my clients. Hi, I'm Angela, a trichologist and cosmetic chemist who is basically obsessed and nerdy about everything hair, beauty, skincare, formulation, scalp, backed by science. Here we break down the facts, debunk myths, and I make sure that you don't only get the best out of your routine, but also your products without the fluff. So if you're all about science back beauty, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notification button to make sure that you don't miss out on my weekly videos. Now, let's get into today's topic. Before even getting into this top three, let's get into the cause of dandruff because it's not only just about flaking and also not all flaking is the same and knowing the cause is actually key into picking the right treatment to control. So what actually causes dandruff? Dandruff is caused by a yeast that we all have on our scalps and that is the yeast called Melisecia. This yeast is oil loving, meaning that it feeds off of the natural oils, also called sebum, on our scalps. And this process leads to an irritated scalp, inflammation, flaking, and itching. Just like the skin on our face, our scalp also has this microbiome. And when all of this occurs, it actually means that the scalp's microbiome isn't balanced anymore. So how do you even determine if you have a dry scalp or if you have dandruff? It's quite simple because a dry scalp lacks oil and dandruff comes from excess oil and a yeast imbalance. As I mentioned, there is a scalp microbiome issue occurring and a great way to target that and help with that is using an anti-dandruff shampoo. These shampoos can really help by reducing that melesthesia yeast that's present on our scalps, calming the inflammation that's present, and also help to balance the oil production. So when I look into finding the right anti-dandruff shampoo, I like to treat it in two ways. There always has to be a yeast fighting ingredient present in the shampoo so this could be ingredients like zinc pyrithione, pyrictone olamine, selenium sulfide, coal tar and I'm also looking for an exfoliating ingredient or a high performing cleansing ingredient to really make sure that you also get rid of those flakes because we also want to work on the appearance and this brings me to my top three anti-dandruff shampoos oh by the way they're not in any particular order um I just want to explain why I like them and why they can be useful for you if you've been following me on my other social media platforms then you've seen me talk about the Vichy Dericos anti-dandruff shampoo a lot and it's finally available in the States now. So the yeast fighting ingredient in this shampoo is selenium sulfide. It contains 1% of it. It also contains salicylic acid, which is an exfoliant, so it will help to get rid of those flakes. So they have a normal to oily hair version and a dry hair version, and they even have a sensitive one. So this way you can pick which you find suitable for your current situation. It's also formulated to help slow down the excessive cell turnover, meaning that less flakes will occur over time. Unlike most traditional anti-dandruff shampoos, this one is actually pretty hydrating. It doesn't feel like it strips the hair, yet it gives a really nice clean feel. And it's great at leaving the scalp balanced without any irritation. So the active ingredient selenium sulfide is actually what gives this shampoo that bright yellowy orange color. Downside to this ingredient is that it can have a quite apparent smell. I do have to say that Fishy has done a great job in eliminating that. I don't find it smelling funky. I actually get quite some compliments whenever I use this one and my clients haven't been experiencing anything bad when it comes to the smell either. Okay, up next is this one by Nizarel, their anti-dandruff shampoo. And the active ingredient in this shampoo that helps with the overgrowth of the melesthesia is ketoconazole. This is formulated in a way that it will also keep on working after you've basically rinsed it and it's great at reducing inflammation. When it comes to ketoconazole, this is one of the strongest over over the counter products that is available. Ketoconazole is often prescribed around 2% by dermatologists, but you really don't have to worry about that. 1% can be very, very effective. And I always say with everything to start low and slow because we don't want to overdo stuff. We don't want to use percentages that we might not even need. So this is a really good starting point. I mainly use this or mainly suggest it to people that really suffer from a lot of dandruff flare ups due to climate change changes, stress, overall lifestyle, this one is great. Also because this one can be quite drying, it doesn't have that 
elegant, gentle formulation as the Fishy one does. This one is just really specifically targeted at what it needs to do at scalp level. It can feel quite drying on the hair. And due to that, I only recommend using this once or max twice a week in treatment form and pairing it with a gentle, more hydrating feel shampoo on the other days. I also personally like to first apply some oil on my ends or already a conditioner so my hair will feel less stripped whenever I rinse this one out. And last but not least, and this one is the one that I I'm currently using and that is the Kerastase Symbios Bon Creme Anti-Pellicular, basically Kerastase's anti-dandruff shampoo. All Kerastase products have such long names. Please just make them shorter. Anyways, the active ingredient in this shampoo when it comes to fighting the overgrowth of the yeast is Perictone Olamine and the exfoliating ingredient is again similar to the fishy one salicylic acid so it doesn't only help to fight the yeast that is overgrowing on the scalp it also in a gentle yet effective way is able to exfoliate and remove those flakes the flaky scalp the dead skin cells right off of your scalp i would say that this one is the most luxurious yet still effective but it also has that luxurious touch to it a little goes a long way it doesn't feel stripping after rinsing when you massage it onto the scalp it feels so nice and refreshing so yeah this is kind of the more bougie version out of all of them it's also more on the pricey side i do have to say again a little goes a long way and i do think that it's worth it if you don't want to compromise on the soft feel that you really want to have on the hair after rinsing out your shampoo. So how can you use an anti dandruff shampoo effectively to get the right results? To get the best results, you don't just apply and rinse. You really need to take your time first into making sure that it's distributed well and it's by not just slapping the shampoo on emulsify it between the hands then massage it in i like to make multiple sections and then massage everything in during this massage you're actually allowing the product to do its work and on a lot of these packages or descriptions it actually also says to keep it on for two to three minutes for example you can clearly see that on a packaging of this one by nizarel please just follow those directions because this is the way that they can actually prove all the claims that they mentioned this product can do. Depending on the severity of your dandruff, I always like to suggest to apply it in a treatment form. So for four weeks, you apply it every wash day you have and i always recommend to at least wash your hair once a week preferably twice especially in the beginning if you really want to get rid of all of the flaking the irritation everything that's going on after that you can still use it every wash day or go towards every other wash day and alternate with your favorite more hydrating shampoo also important always follow up with the conditioner because we always need to condition the hair the key when it comes to treating dandruff is consistency and that's basically with everything in life right consistency is key to get it under control a lot of the times unfortunately and even in my case it's chronic so you don't fully get rid of it but Controlling it makes it so much easier to deal with. And I know that it will be the same for you too. Do let me know if you've tried any of these anti dandruff shampoos or if you have your own fave that you want to put in because I'm always curious about different brands, shampoos, products. I've tried a lot, but obviously I haven't tried them all. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or what you would like me to talk about in the next video. Stay safe and yeah, see you in the next one.